Ma never na se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV dia o se dem yopo. Lord forever and ever amen. Assalamu alaikum. It's Tuesday. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. Trust you are fine. Well, want to send special love to all our colleagues uh, and friends who are outsiders, the Johnny Biters who are in Ghana, who are across the world. Yesterday, I got a call from Italy. And the other day, I got a call from the United States. I've been getting calls, um, United Kingdom, all over the all over the world. People watch Johnny's by Ghanaians who are out there and they're introducing it to their friends and all of that. And it's good that you're spreading the tentacles and spreading the word. So thank you very much. Those who wait until we finish Johnny's by before you knock off your night shift and go and sleep and all of that. Thank you so much for supporting us. Please like, comment and share and give us the feedback. It's important that you do. No form of intimidation will win. No form of harassment will win. No form of insults and attack will win. The truth is the truth and the truth must be said and spoken at once. Now, this morning, I, I, I just discussed it with my colleagues here on, on the morning show, Sunrise Morning Show on 3FM 92.7. And we, we, we kept knocking our heads over this, this whole land guard uh, being used by the Ministry of, uh, what do you call it, the Lands and Natural Resources, the Chief Director on tape saying that before Parliament, and now they've written a press, a press release to say, oh, that is not entirely the case. I, I, I find it laughable. Well, the Honourable Member for uh, the Honourable Member of Parliament for Tamale North, Alassane Suhini, put that out. Tomorrow we'll get into the full detail. We'll do a blow-by-blow -blow account of what it is. Because growing up as a boy, I knew prime lands in Accra, prime lands at Jowulu, prime lands at Roman Ridge, prime lands at Airport, prime lands at Cantonments. Today, all those prime lands will ride by them. How's the bungalows that belong to uh, maybe well, it's given to a certain kennel, a certain general, a certain ADP, a certain this, a certain that. These days, you go around there, you find that all those places have been taking over. They have become commercial entities. And you ask yourself, where do the officers stay? Do they live in private quarters now? Do they live in their own homes? Are we paying them allowances for it? It's a worry. And people suddenly come into power three, four, five years. They are already are able to afford lands around those prime areas. Some people who have never worked before, suddenly they get in there, they have six houses, seven houses. They have vehicles that they can let off. Next thing, they want to go to parliament. And it's, it's worrying. It's, so we, we don't glorify hard work anymore. We don't. Now, I'll play for you a video of Honorable Kennedy, Japan MP for Asin Central. He wants to be president of the republic. And you know that all the 10 who in intend to be president on the ticket of the NPP are going around the country campaigning. Now, the campaigns are becoming something else. But I don't want you to listen to the bit where he's, he keeps jabbing. I want you to listen to him from the perspective of a businessman speaking. A businessman, because over the last... I mean, I'd, almost every day, sometimes we go out to eat. Sorry about and I, sometimes Danny and I, we go out to eat, and you have one businessman or the other come to you, and they literally are in, in tears. They are in pain. They talk about their capital. They talk about the fact that they have contracted loans that they can't pay. They talk about the fact that I'm a road contractor. I've not been paid. They, they, they are always complaining to you as if you can solve all the problems because they know you will speak about it. And it's painful. Listen to Honorable Kennedy Japan. Listen to him. Listen to him carefully. He's a businessman. Just listen to him. strategy, strategy, strategy. At least one tourist site. A bet me this a break in tempo. Ebema hotels kasia kasia a back in tempo. Aye the British surveillance. A buana British no. Ejinaso, Eshe, Se, and Kofobe attacki Omo Anase, Ewa Kintampoa. Ewa Kintampoa. Oti Asye. Se, Ye Sisi Hotel Swaha. Na, Ya Projecti, Ayinu wa the whole world. Ube hu nipe beba ha. Ebe ma, Ejuma Aba ha. I'm sorry, I'm a strategist, I'm a strategist. Strategist, any baby I know. It is only Ghana, and I would economy, I am a strategist. 
MPP for woman ye clean campaign on Benyasem because media who can not reply. What be also your strategies? Also your strategies. Embra, you're taking over power. Not dollar, you four cities. And then dollar, and your 12 cities. We are strategies. Excuse me, strategies. More your strategies. Please. Omo mi enye clean campaign. Omo mi enye clean campaign. Se woma enye clean campaign. Maybe a sembi on beka bi a meyano. Mamenka sem tro. Help. March 2022. Now we seek a forty million dollars in cities. August. August 2022. The value of the forty million dollars now is sixteen million. Why not so her strategies for Ghana? Mamu will be a hunu hunamu. Yet you see a yansa, a bepu Ghana mine, a mana ye. Strategies bang and was say or to me a year factory. Emma Atabubu almost found the pan nine hundred and sixty. Emrantia in Baba where we are school. Omunya Juman yet. Motiwa Mosapo your strategist. Motiwa Emrantia in Baba where we are school in Yajuman yet. Mosapo your strategist. Mimi to me be a steel plant. Steel plant, you know. I'm employing thousand workers in this country by next month. Me no me no one air strategies. Me will co store, co store the biggest co store in the whole Africa. Thirty one thousand tons. Mu amu kiho. Abel tu ya moka. Abel tu ya mo house girl ka. Abel tu ya mo security ka. Efi amu tibi ni amu tibi free. Me mi tu ya eni pa seven thousand one hundred and fifty eight workers. In this country, many of me no one has strategies. So he was talking about strategy, but key for me was the fact that he spoke about tourism, which we have not properly explored. Tourism, which can bring us a lot of money. He spoke about youth unemployment, and the fact that we seem detached from the reality. Youth unemployment. He spoke about how low our city has sunk and has been devalued such that the worth of the money is nothing to talk, talk about. Then he talks about job creation, right? These are the four things that I picked. Forget about the political things, which he said. But these things are things that I said, I've said, started saying them a long time ago when I started hosting TV3 New Day in 2016. In fact, you go back to the Mahama era when I was on election zone and community connect i used to say them now nobody will attack kennedy in japan you know why because oh yeah you're part in back but everybody will attack john hughes and insult us if when i start that speaking about those we had paid little attention to it we wouldn't be where we are today we are before the imf on the stretch i didn't say it engineer kabina japan said it the reality is hitting all of us. That's why I keep asking that all the 10 people who are now telling us about change, about a new kind of vision and all of that, when did they see this change? When did they catch this vision? Because these things that Mr. Japan is talking about publicly, when, when did he start saying it publicly? Is he saying it because he wants to be president? And he says, we will use a fear answer, of course, if you want to be president of the country or if you're a member of parliament, you just have to be of sound mind, of a certain age, be a voter, da da da. Nobody has of your educational qualification. You, you understand? So now, so now the point is this. When we talk, don't try and put us in a certain box and political clothing. Because the reality, after two, three years, is hitting you in the face. The things that I said, which I was insulted for, say, oh, I was, he has gone to collect $40,000. Oh, he smokes weed before he comes to the, he has gone to uh, father a baby somewhere that he has re rejected. All of those things. He, he said all oh, manner of dirty things by young people who are just about my age, who, who have a lot at stake because our, ours is far. 
the old people who lead you to say those things or who you say those things to impress, they have nothing to lose. Some are 80, some are 70, some are 60. Their lives have been spent. They have nothing to lose. You, the young people, yesterday I showed you one young man who was sent on to TV. Whether he did it himself or he, to come and suggest to us that it's COVID Russia, Ukraine, and to even come and suggest that, oh, we manufactured the Al Jazeera email. Obroni says, look, the standard should be perfection. The standard. It should not be about UK. Listen to what the man has said this morning. He has said a lot of meaningful stuff. That if we pause to pay attention to it, one district, one factory, how impactful have those factories been on, for example, youth unemployment? How impactful has it been on our economy? How impactful has it been on job creation? How impactful has it been on our import substitution and all of that? That's the conversation. Planting for food and job. How impactful has it been on our importation of food? How impactful has it been on our industry? How well are we able to feed ourselves to the point where we can even export some of the food? That's the question. If we say, oh, solid economic management team, we should be able to be seeing our cities stronger and stronger and stronger and, and match it up the dollar, the pound, and the euro. That's the conversation. It's not about talk. It is not about talk. We have talked too much in this country, and we are not seeing the action. That's why he's asking strategies, strategies, strategies. Show, uh, show working. That's, that's the question. Show working. What is your scorecard? My scorecard is there. Check it. My scorecard is there. Someone says, oh, you talk too much. If they give you Ghana, you can't handle it. That's why I'm not fighting for political office. I came here. I applied for a job. I got it. I was put on new day. The records are there. Check Ipsos and Jopo. They are there. I came. I've been moved to radio. I am here. Check the records. They are there. These are international rating agencies. The same international rating agencies that are rating you CCCC, Nanako, B minus, D, D plus, D, deeper, deep, whatever the, the ratings are. So your, your scorecard is there. My scorecard is also there. Ask Ipsos, ask Jopo. It's there. It's there for everybody to see. It's there for everybody to see. The records are there when I joined you day, where we were. The records are there after I stayed on where we came to. We were number one in Ghana. Number one. So focus on the work. And listen when we talk. Because we actually pay you. Listen. Good morning. I'm in the TV. So far, so good. So, open online portal. I work Ghana. I'm not share, not follow, not comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I'm in TV.